Yes, I admit it. I was a little proud. <laughs> You're all right then. No, not just a little. Oh, most definitely not. I, I was prouder of myself that day than I had ever been in my life. <laughs> Nobody before you or since has done that to me. I was tingling all over with excitement as we walked around the yard looking at, at the statues. All those years of working on my mecca had at last been vindicated. I've got a silly little confession to make about that first meeting. When, when we came inside and were sitting in here talking and drinking tea and the light started to fade and it began, became time to light a candle. I suddenly realized that I was beginning to feel shy. More shy than I'd even been with Stephanus on my wedding night. <laughs> you know, it got so bad, I, I was half wishing you would stand up and say it was time to go. You, you see, when I lit the candles, you were finally going to see all of me. I don't mean my face or, or, or the clothes I was wearing. You, you'd already seen all of that out in the yard. I mean, the real me. Because that is what this room is. And I desperately, oh, so desperately wanted you to like what you saw. But by the time we met, I, I got used to rude eyes staring at me and my work, just missing both of them as ugly. I, I've lived with those eyes for 15 years and they didn't bother me anymore. Yours were different. In just the little time we had already been together, I, I had ended up feeling... No, more than that, I, I knew I could trust them. There's our big word again, Elsie. I was so nervous. I didn't know what we were talking about anymore while I, I sat there trying to find courage to to get a box of matches and light the candle. But eventually I did and you, you looked around the room and laughed with delight. You liked what you saw. This is the best of me, Elsa. This is what I really am. Forget everything else. Nothing, not even my name or my face, is as much as those wise men and their camels travelling to the east, or the light and glitter in this room, the, the mermaids, the wise old owls, the gorgeous peacocks, all of them are me. And I had delighted you. Dear God, if you only knew what you did for my life that day, how much courage, how much faith in it you gave me, because all those years of being laughed at and, and thought a mad old woman had taken their toll, Elsie. When you walked into my life that afternoon, I hadn't been able to work or make anything for nearly a year. And I was beginning to think I wouldn't ever again that I had reached the end. The only reason I've got for being alive is my Mecca. Without that, I'm nothing. A useless old woman getting on everybody's nerves and that is exactly what I started to feel like. You revived my life.